Prosecutors spent a year preparing Michael Cohen for this moment. He's the witness that prosecutors need to directly tie Trump to the payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. NBC's Yasmin Vesugian is outside the courthouse. Also with us, our legal panel for the hour, former prosecutor Kristen gibbons fedden former prosecutor and civil rights attorney Charles Coleman, and criminal defense attorney and former Manhattan prosecutor Jeremy Salan. Thank you all for joining us. Let's go to Yasmin first. What is the latest inside that courtroom as Michael Cohen's testimony begins? We're getting some demeanor notes, guys, as to how Michael Cohen is, is interacting with the prosecution when answering his questions. Also, kind of some color from inside the courtroom when Michael Cohen was asked to identify the defendant, um, Donald J. Trump, in which I've explained this before. Um, it, they're unable to see when you're on the witness stand, unable to see the defense table. So we had to stand up, kind of peer around uh, the defense, around kind of the two feet of wood lip that stands between him and the defense table to identify Donald J. Trump. We're hearing from inside the courtroom when it comes to his demeanor. He's asking and answering these questions um, pretty, pretty, pretty quickly um, in that he's sticking with the points. He's not veering off of subjects. Um, he is I'm staying with kind of the answers that he is being asked. Um, that is some color from inside the court when it comes to Lisa Rubin. They talked about the history between Michael Cohen and Donald J. Trump, how it was he came to work for the Trump Organization. He was introduced to the Trump Organization through uh, Don Jr. back in 2007, also with investment properties in Trump uh, International Tower. He was asked to work on um, some contracts for Donald Trump in which the bill would amount up to $100,000. He was asked if, in fact, he was paid $100,000. He said no, but he was subsequently then um, offered a job for $375,000 plus bonuses as well. So they're kind of walking through the history here between uh, both Michael Cohen and Donald J. Trump. Let me just read one interaction as well, if I can, guys. Cohen asked, uh, the, the first was so that he knew I was on it. I was doing what he had asked. This was with regards to questions about whether or not he interacted with the media when it came to Donald J. Trump. The second was building to obtain credit, so he understood I was accomplishing what he wanted. How did that make you feel? He said, like I was on top of the world, establishing the loyalty and the long-standing relationship between Donald J. Trump um, and Michael Cohen, guys.